And okay now folks, okay now folks, this is Muro Purva, Muro Purva, where, uh, what do you call it, uh, Visakha lived. This is where the Buddha acceded to Visakha's wish. Muro Purva has been mispronounced by Buddhists as Migara Mata Pasada. Muro Purva has been mispronounced by Buddhists as Migara Mata Pasada. And folks, these are the descendants of Vishaka, the chief lay disciple and patron of the Buddha. How I came to this conclusion to understand, please view this video till the end. Okay, now folks, uh, uh, Zhang Zhang continues when he tells us about uh, the, uh, 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 the debate between Sariputra and the heretics. He also mentions that nearby is a stupa where the Buddha, uh, he acceded to, uh, what do you call it, Vishakha's wish. And uh, he acceded to Vishakha's wish. Now, that is Murao Purva. Murao Purva, which uh, the Buddhists have uh, uh, mispronounced as Migara Pasada or something like that. Migara Pasada. Some, they have, there, are, there are several Buddhist mispronunciations of Murao Purva. Murao Purva as Migara Pasada or something. See, uh, Vishakha was a late follower of the Buddha and she was a sort of patron of the Buddha. She was very beautiful in three things. She had the best clothes, most beautiful clothes, the most beautiful jewelry and she was very beautiful herself. Uh, she lived uh, in a place called uh, Bhadiya and uh, she was married to the king of Kosala and uh, she was asked by Buddha to relocate her home and come to uh, uh, what you call it Murao Purva because the king wanted uh, her and her family to, uh, to come over so that uh, she, uh, people could see their life, her lifestyle and then uh, could change their ways according to the Buddha's law. So uh, that is your Murao Purva, Visakha's home, uh, the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the Sangarama or Vihara which Visakha made for the Buddha to preach in. So folks, that is Murao Purva. Ch uh, Purva, check out what Zhang Zhang has to say. I'll show it to you in satellite pictures and then you can uh, see the pictures of the place itself. Now let's see where the Sangrama is, where which Vishakha made for the Buddha. Three or four li e to the east of the Vihara, which covers with its shadow, is a stupa. So that is, uh, what do you call it? This is where Sariputra discussed with the heretics. When Sudhata first bought the garden for the prince Jeta for the purpose of building a Vihara for Buddha, then Sariputra accompanied the nobleman to inspect and assess the plan. On the occasion, six masters of the heretics sought to deprive him of his spiritual power. Sariputra, as occasion offered, brought them to reason and subdued them. There is a Vihara by the side, in front of which is built a stupa. Now there is a Vihara by side, that was Dharmanpura, where Sariputra uh, debated with the heretics which I showed you in my previous video. If, if, uh, here is Dharman Pur. Now by the side of that, by the side of that is Murao Purva. See, by <coughs> There is a uh, spiritual power. Sariputra, as occasion offered, brought them to reason and subdued them. There is a vihara by the side in front of which is built a stupa. This is where Tathagat defeated the heretics and acceded to the request of Visakha. Now, this uh, by the side of uh, Dharmanpura, where uh, Sariputra debated the heretics is a stupa which uh, uh, was next to 
विहारा विच विशाखा मेड सो लेट सी लेट सी वॉट विकीपीडिया हैज टू से अबाउट विशाखा हाँ विशाखा ऑल्सो नोन एज मिगाड़ा माता है फोक्स शी इज एक्चुअली महारानी माए मिगाड़ा माता महारानी माए एंड शी इज शी वॉज द डॉटर ऑफ बड़हिया वॉज अ वेल्थी एरिस्टोक्रेटिक वुमेन हु लिव ड्यूरिंग द टाइम ऑफ गौतम बुद्ध शी इज कंसिडर्ड टू हैव बीन द चीफ फीमेल पैटर्न ऑफ द बुद्ध विशाखा फाउंडेड द टेम्पल मिगाड़ा माता पसादा He, she founded the temple Migara Mata Pasada. Uh, see, this is a badly mispronounced word, but there is a similar word next to Dharman Pura. See here. Now, Bhog Jot. Here is Dharman Pur, and next to Dharman Pur is Murau Purva, sounding similar to Migara Mata uh, Pavana. Migara, what what was the word? The word was Migara uh, Mata Pasada. That is Migara Murau Purva Mira Migara Mata Pasada. Pasada is Purva and Migara Mata is Murau. Migara Mata is Murau and Pasada is Purva. Folks, and is just next to Dharmanpur where Sari Putra divided the heritage. So, folks. Check out the pictures of uh, Murau Purva, which was the Vihara, which uh, what do you call it? Uh, this uh, 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 Visakha made for the Buddha, and where the Buddha defeated the heretics in a debate. Check out the pictures. Now I have shown you the uh, Murau Purva in satellite pictures, and I have so shown you uh, her, the, what do you call it, Visakha's, uh, what Zhang Zhang had to say and what Wikipedia has to say. See, Visakha, she was from a place called Bhadiya. Bhadiya is uh, written Bhadiya, pronounced Bhadiya. That is just uh, a 16 kilometers away from my house. There is a huge temple to her, which is on Maharani Mai, and it seems the Buddhists have mispronounced Maharani Mai as Migara Mata. But the Buddhists have uh, what do you call it mispronounced Maharani Mai as Migara Mata. Anyway, uh, she used to live in Bhadia, and she was a disciple of the Buddha, a follower of the Buddha since childhood. When uh, what do you call it, uh, the Buddha came. To Bhadia, it was since then she has become been a follower. So basically, about her was that uh, she, the king of Bharaj, had come to meet the Buddha, and he saw the people of Bhadia. They was their lifestyle. He was enamored by their lifestyle, and he wanted his country also to follow on the uh, Bhadia's footsteps. So he asked the Buddha to relocate some people from. Adiya to uh, his country, that is the so-called Sravasti, which is actually Garit. So the Buddha asks uh, Vishaka and her husband to relocate, and the husband was a Jain. Vishaka's husband was a Jain. So what do you call it? She uh, makes him uh, what do you call it? Uh, attend to some of the Buddha's teachings. After which he also converted to. Uh, what you call it, uh, Buddhism, and he was so uh, uh, pleased with his daughter-in-law. Uh, what that she had, you know, showed him uh, him the correct path. That she, he started treating her as mother. That's why they start saying calling her Migara Mata. It's actually Maharani Mai. So basically, what happens is. Uh, what you call it? Uh, she, uh, she was the chief uh, 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 patron of the Buddha. She relocates from Bhadia to uh, what you call it? Uh, this Murau Purva. Murau Purva is in the name of her father. Murau Purva is in the name of her father-in-law, and. Uh, What do you call it? Uh, she. This is where the Buddha would stay when he would come in uh, uh, to what do you call it, uh, Sravasti. 
because uh, this is uh, that was before Jitavan was bought and Jitavan was made for him. He would stay in Muraupurva with uh, uh, under the guardianship of Vishaka. Vishaka was very beautiful in three things. She had the best jewelry. She had the best. Uh, clothes and she was she was beautiful herself. So she was beautifully beautiful thrice. Now she Visaka wants to sell her jewelry to uh, make a uh, what do you call it vihara for the Buddha with that money. But there is no one who can buy that jewelry. The jewelry is too expensive. So Visaka buys it herself and makes this vihara. The Vihara's name is Murao Purva, folks, which I just showed you in satellite pictures and which you have been reading about in Zhang Zhang's book. So, the what do you call it? Uh, thank Zhang Zhang for showing us Visakha's, uh, the Vihara, which she made for the Buddha, and she used to also live there with her husband. So, I hope you all like this video. If you all appreciate it, don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe to my page, Buddha Exhumed. And don't forget to tell your friends and relatives about this video.